Welcome back to more Rune Factory 5, everybody. In case you're wondering why I'm starting by holding this uh, lumber thing, is because I should explain something. If you take a look at the last several seconds of the last video, you'll see that despite me receiving this reward, only this box is showing up. That's because if you keep things in here, they're actually going to spawn on top of each other. Yet you can only see the oldest item. So um, I knew that because I examined this thing, I pressed the A, and I was saying, oh, this is where I store my lumber and stone. And I was like, what? That's a storage box. So then I just simply press pick up, and then this thing came out of nowhere, but the storage box did in there. It's a bit hard to explain, but if you're playing along, or if you play the game, just leave the storage box here when you get that as a reward, and then wait for this to also be rewarded to you, and just see what I'm talking about. So, what I should do is move the storage box out of here, because it seems that any reward you get from requests that are like furniture or stuff, they'll actually be here and they're going to stack on top of each other, so that's not good. I'm going to go ahead and move it over here in that case, somewhere like... I think I may want to line these up, probably. So it's going to be kind of hard to... Hold on. Well, I don't know how the game will treat it. Does it stick to like... Is it like a grid or something, or is it literally how you place it? It's literally how you place it. Oh, man. I think it's going to be tough to, uh... <laughs> to get that perfectly, you know? I don't think there's a way to get it. The pad doesn't work for like, you know. I think I'll probably have to fix this off screen or something because it's going to be nearly impossible to do it. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, that's definitely not going to work. Okay, well, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, you can also rotate it like that. It's kind of cool. All right, I'm just going to place it right there for now. That actually might be straight though. Ah, we'll see. But yeah, um, so that's that. I'm going to move this um, shipping box, or sorry, not shipping box, storage box. I'm going to place it over, where should I place it? Should I put it inside? I probably will need to place it inside. I mean, I don't know, because I, usually I just put like farm work stuff over there, but then this area, you, you have a lot of space as you can see. Okay, the calendar's there, so we don't want to mess with that. It'll actually turn red once you touch the wall, so you definitely don't want to do that, you know? Oh, actually, if it's pretty close to the wall, it'll turn red, huh? I have to fix these later. I don't think there's a way to, like, get it perfect. Because if you try to pick up something and then place it, you can rotate them. Yeah, so like that's straight, but it's a, unfortunately a little too close to the wall. Yeah, see? There's actually a lot of space in between the wall and the item. I don't know why they put so much space, you know? I didn't mean to lock onto the door right there. Okay, I'm wasting too much time here. Shit! I'm telling you, this is really hard. Once you play the game yourself, you will see what pain I'm going through right now. This is, this is insane. It's actually pretty freaking difficult. I'll have to fix that up later in between episodes. I don't know. Well, because I know some, some people are going to be like OCD with this stuff, you know? And they're going to be like, oh, I'll, yeah, you know, like, I got to get it perfect. Is there really no way to get this? Okay, there we go. That's as best it's going to get, I think. I'm just going to leave it there because it's actually pretty brutal to get that perfect. Um, I don't need to, yeah, I don't need to do that. It's fine. Okay. Wait a minute. This is... Is this also another spawn? It looks like a spawning platform. Do you see how there's a wooden thing underneath? I don't know. I'll leave that there for now, though. I'm not going to mess with that. At the moment. Okay. So... We're going to... Okay, we're going to come over here. Cool. Zero and twelve. That's what I have so far. Alright, um, I mean, as you know, I don't actually have a, um, I don't have a hammer yet. Also, if you want to put away your tool, you just simply press that on the control pad, put it away. If you press, like, left pad, bring it out, left pad to put it back in. Same thing with weapon, right pad to bring it out, right pad to bring it back in. Alright, let's see. So, try shipping. Place a turnip in the shipping bin and we'll ship it next day at 8 a.m. Report back. Okay. Yes. Mm-hmm. I'm a bit worried about you. I hope you don't mind if I give you a little test. Here's a turnip. All you need to do is stick that turnip in your shipping bin. Easy, right? 
It seems pretty easy, yes. Let's run with this turnip and place it here. We're going to get some free money out of this. Done. Alright. No requests available. Oh, oh, I have to wait until 8 a.m. the next day right now, okay. For it to be as complete. I should also plant these other four turnips that I see here. Um, but I should, should get rid of this stump first, though. Because it's kind of in the way, you know? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> So, your character does kind of get a little out of control with, uh, not that much, I, I exaggerated a little bit, but like if you press like, if you press it a couple times, you'll actually notice that he'll chop like one or two more times. That's interesting. I haven't talked about uh, skills too much yet, and I know I probably should, but um, we're going to equip that. How many did I have? I didn't even realize how many I had. Yeah, so like right there, that last one, because I mashed it even yes. like a little earlier, it still counted as, you know, I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain. Anyway, uh, we're gonna, uh, that is not what I meant to do. So I think if you hold it, I see. Interesting. Okay. Uh, then over here we're going to equip this. Watering tub. Be careful here, don't go too crazy. Hope it comes out okay. Alright. So I think I'm done with all that. I mean, I've used up all my stamina and stuff. Here's some weeds. We can ship the weeds for sure. I suppose it's a little bit of money. Camera does go. It's kind of weird. I mean, it makes sense why you didn't get the the uh, you know top view when you're approaching. But like, it kind of freaks you out a little bit. These I should probably keep. I think uh, I'm just, just gonna stash these because I feel like they're gonna be more helpful if I keep them. Anything else? Anything over here? I'm just making sure you know if there's anything else to forage. But I. Nope. Alright, um... Whoops, I keep pressing the freaking wrong buttons. Well, that was the wrong tool anyway. Okay, we're gonna stop right there because we are going to pass out. Well, actually, no, no, I should show this because if it's like every other Harvest Moon game, you don't actually pass out if you ran out of RP. What happens is your HP starts to get hit. Watch this. Well, no, not that one. Yes. Hold on. Hold on. Cause I still have RP. Here we go. You see that? See how it took about about maybe a quarter chunk of my health? Nice. Be careful with that. So although you will not pass out, you will start getting huge amounts of HP depleted. Um, so I'm just letting you know that's usually how Rune Factory games work. See these these things keep spawning throughout the day I've noticed, which is kinda cool. However, I can't use my sickle to well I mean or not, um, hmm, or not, not, to, I don't know, I don't know why I said sickle, but, you know how you try to get that, uh, wait a minute, I, I meant, wait, this is what takes it out, right? Yeah, it, it's the hell. So I'm used to being the sickle. Well, um, yeah, we'll ship that as well, that's fine. Okay, I think we should go to sleep, because we actually have to wait for that, so you can take a look at requests, um, what do you see requests actually? Right here, yeah. Okay, so requests, and you have your current ones. So we have to wait until 8 a.m. Reward is that spinach seeds and potato seeds will be in the inventory. Uh, shop inventory. Okay. The other thing I should probably show you is, I mean, you know about this. You know, your love level or friendship level. Long soul recipes, 2% learned. Claymore, okay. Then there's, um, these are your skills. So basically, skills is essentially the main component of Rune Factory games and how it is essentially able to go up, you know, um, in terms of your stats and stuff. So like, if you water, skill needed to use water magic, higher skill, skill levels increase max RP and reduce RP consumption, intelligence, magic defense, and, uh, and water magic attack, and slightly, also slightly increase. 
So yeah, and then like this one is for like, I think if you ho, this one is... I'm actually not sure. Wind. Whatever, the point is these are all naturally going to go up. Logging is um uh, using your axe and chopping, you know, like stumps and stuff. Walking, that's just going to get naturally. Sleeping, that will be a thing, you know. Throwing. So yeah, it's um... It's pretty simplistic to learn, I would say. I'm just gonna go to bed. I mean, I ran out of HP and RP and stuff, so... That's cool. I'm gonna go here and call it a day. So we're gonna sleep. Yeah, just sleeping, walking, farming, logging. All those things are naturally just gonna increase, you know? Skill up, see? I think that was probably sleeping. They just gotta skill up. Oh, look at this. We'll take all this. Oh, these are all different, huh? I missed one. Wait, that's a different type. Oh, no, I think you can only stack up to... a certain amount of each. Okay, um... So it's not 8 a.m. yet. In the meantime, I'll actually do a little bit of cleanup here and I guess water my crops and stuff. Are there birds in the background? I think there are, actually. Oh, we should also take these turnips, huh? I guess we should. Yes. Wait, what if there's a request about harvesting, though? And if I harvest too early, I'm gonna lose on it. Okay, I'm not gonna harvest them yet, because I want to see what requests I actually have for today, you know? Uh, we actually want to switch into the watering can, for sure. Okay. Then we're going to just basically spam water here. Go big and strong, okay? All right. Yeah, you'll see that naturally some some skills are gonna go up like a lot faster than others at first right. because you're gonna be using those a lot more often. But they take longer and longer to keep raising up um, over time. Uh, these, uh, I mean, I don't really need to water those. Uh, turnips over there, you know? Yeah, I'm still getting used to the whole switching stuff where you just simply... It's just L. L and then you cycle and then you press that button there. Okay. Like here, I want to do that. Whoops. Okay. And... Oh, I didn't pick that one up. And then here, just deposit everything in there. And yeah, that's... Pretty much how it works. Um, you have to kill some time for it to be 8 a.m. Because, okay, if you take a look at the time, you see how it's not second by second, so watch this. 704. 5. Six, seven. I think it's half the speed, I'm pretty sure. So, like, every in game second is actually two real life seconds, I think. It's about that much. That's what it seems like. Anyway, who do I talk to here? Yeah. This is Priscilla. That's so many things. Oh man. Hmm. <laughs> wow. Oh, to work. <laughs> Have fun. Ah oh, yes, the person that we all hate, right? I mean, I should make assumptions. Maybe some of you don't hate her. Maybe some of you love her. And are in love with her. What the heck? Jeez. Okay. Oh, here's bluegrass. Okay, see, it is good that I'm going around here and, you know, exploring all this. That way I can see where these items actually spawn. So for my bag, this is basically what I have. Like antidote grass, green grass. No, see, it was a different item. That's why they couldn't stack. Okay. Uh, but I have, I think it's 45? Because it went from 30 to 45 when I did that upgrade, if you remember. Let me check over here if there's anything. I'm just exploring to see if there are items to pick up. Can I pick up these? No, I can't. What about this way? Where the heck am I going? This is actually outside of town now. Okay. Can I pick up some stuff? Looks like a branch. 
These are just rocks. I don't know how valuable it is to even take these things. What is this right here? Another branch. Okay, well, that's... That's fine, I guess, but I'm not seeing anything else of value over here. Nope, there's nothing. There's just more rocks and stuff. I should probably go back. Now that it's 8 a.m., I'm going to get my shipment money. So I'm at 176. See how much money I get. So 176 to... Whoa, 429. Not bad, not bad. Okay. Let's go. Right, hold on. Okay, never mind. I wanted to see something, but that's fine. It's pretty nice stone that I got to explore all this way. It's something else shiny. Oh, this. I didn't get these. Yeah, the game will actually help you a bit with that, though. Like, it, it'll shine objects from pretty far away so you can see what you can pick up. That's pretty convenient. Okay, let's go over here now. Got this down. I guess this means I don't have to worry about you after all. Here, have some more seeds to grow as a little reward. Spinach holds pretty easily, so make sure you give it plenty of water. Please check the nearby chest for some spinach seeds and potato seeds. Nice. Hell yeah. Alright, what's next? Gift and item. Give, give someone a toy herb. Hello, this is Hina. Sure, I want you to make friends with more people. Please give this toy herb to someone to make them happy. You receive a toy herb. When you want to give someone a present, hold the gift in your hands and go up to them and press the A button. Okay. So, maybe someone like... Well, hold on, hold on. You have to talk to them because this is what's weird about some Harvest Moon and... I don't know if this actually was a thing in Honestly. Fruit Factory games, but essentially if you talk to them the first time of the day when you're huh? holding the item, they might not take the item, but you'll still lose it. That was usually a thing in older Harvest Moon games, though. Um, so I really doubt it's a problem in this one, you know, but I just didn't want to, I didn't want to chance it. Oh my god, even the random dialogue is so long See in this game. I am reading it, I'm skimming through, but because it's not directly story related, and I don't need to actually read that word by word. Okay. Well, anyway, we go to other, come over here, hold it. For me, thanks. And that's it. Now, um, I guess I should show you the companionship. What the hell? 93. Just one gift? Why is Livy at 62? And these people hire. I guess it's because I helped them out with stuff, but okay. Anyway, uh, the heart icon means that they are a marriageable candidate, I believe, or it just means that they're not. Margaret is not. I guess they didn't want to, you know, put her two games in a row. But yes, you may be familiar with from uh, Root Factory 4, just saying. They also gave a little bio, bio on Elven Woman with Passion for Music. Cool. Interesting. Alright, well. Right. Thanks for doing my request, Shiny. I'll give you a cheap sickle I found at home as a reward. My mom used, used to use it to cut grass. If you use it on crops, then you'll get seeds from them. Please become good friends with everyone in Rigbarth, but you should make sure that you become best friends with me. Please check the nearby chest for a cheap sickle. All right. Yes, I got a cheap sickle. What's next? Buy food. Buy some food at the general store. Switch between shelves to select different items. Okay. Hello, dear. Have you gone shopping in town yet? We have all sorts of lovely shops here. Randolph and I run one as well, although we only sell bread. Okay, why don't you do some shopping at the general store? There's so much to see there. Take this and go buy yourself some rice there. Oh, I got some money. If you're having trouble finding a particular shelf, then you can use the R button to search other shelves. Okay. And we gotta deliver this. Deliver the item. To... okay. So I gotta see where these people actually are. I have to memorize who's... Oh, these freaking icons. Okay. Because, um, if I don't, I mean, it at least shows you here. 
Okay, Martin is you, which I believe you are over here. Yeah, it should be you. Let's take care of that one. I'm gonna run over here. Luckily the shop is pretty close by. Where you at? You? Is it you? Mm. Use a finished <gasps> item. Is that oh, Martin? You doing something wrong? What? That's right. Okay. What the hell are these people talking? <laughs> okay. Wait a minute. Isn't there anything else? So festivals tomorrow. Hold on. Don't I have the item? Oh, I thought it, I thought because it was like a because I didn't even show what item I I have. Um, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on a second here. What is going on? Oh, okay, okay. Now that makes more sense. Okay, because this, this is just a generic quest. It's not a story-related quest, I believe. So you actually have to get the cold medicine from your by your own means. Sorry, I thought when you accepted it, you received the cold medicine item automatically and then you just go talk to him and give it to him. No, this one is not, I, I don't believe it's directly story related. So this means that I shouldn't do it unless I can get the cold medicine item, which it doesn't seem like I'm gonna be able to. I might be too early in the game because I think those quests are randomized, the non-story ones. So like we just got a bad luck one probably. Um, well, I might also be able to. Um, well, actually, okay, I'll talk about that later. I'll talk about that later. Before, where the hell? Where is the gen? Okay, I need to start memorizing these locations. General store is right there. Okay, so it's the building right over here, this one. Let's go in here. You can pay for items here? Well then, then pay for items there, what? Is it because I have to Good wait for... Today. Hello? Why is everyone getting close to me like that? Okay, wait a minute. Why... What the hell? Wait, 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 wait. What are the hours for this store? 9 to 6 p.m. What? Oh, you know what? Is it because of... Okay, hold on. Let me see. Wait, no, there's actually nobody up here either. Wait, what, what am I doing wrong? What? There's nobody here that I can... That just goes outside. No, no, because in the other games, specifically Room Factory 4, even if nobody's in here when store hours, you can just talk to the... It was something, like an object thing. And you can make transactions automatically. But we can't in here. What in the world? Oh my freaking god, dude. Welcome. Seriously? Okay, so you, get, so you have to talk specifically to a person in here three times within the same day to get... Isn't that so dumb? Oh my god, I actually think that's time. pretty dumb. Okay. That, that will confuse a lot of people. I was... 
I, I talked to him once, nothing. I talked to him again, still nothing. You have to talk to him the third time. Take your time. The third time within the same store and the same day to finally trigger the prompt of, hey, do you want to buy something? What in the world is that? Okay. Well, we're going to buy this. Cool. We bought one of those. Um, wow, some of these are actually pretty expensive. There's also seeds here. I don't think I need to buy Come seeds right again. now. I'm just going to... I'm going to say no. Anything else? Uh, never mind. I think we're good. We bought that, so basically any other item that you buy will actually appear here. Uh, wait a minute. No, it didn't appear here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry, things are very technical here. I'm getting... Didn't I do that? No, I didn't, I guess. Come back again. Thanks. Okay, okay. You press A and then and then you press Y. Okay. That's that reminds me of Room Factory 4, kind of familiar. Sorry about that freaking mess up there. Jesus. I mean, it, to be fair, I don't think it was completely my fault. It's also the game kind of being a dick about it, but whatever. Okay. Talking three times just to trigger the store prompt you want to buy something. What the hell is that? Okay. So we are going to come over here and complete this request. Yes, I did. Once in a while, I get the extra rice, but uh, since we usually eat so much bread, I got a chance. Let's get to cook simple recipe. Okay. Cooking, make sure you visit Palmo and buy a cooking table. Ah, yes. Nice. A cooking table. All right, we got some of this, cool. Gather material stone. Smash rocks and boulders with a hammer to collect material stone. Cool. If you want to start smithing, then you need a strong body. Working with stone is the best way to get in shape. That's why you'll need this. You receive the hammer. Break up the rocks and boulders and you fill with the hammer. You'll have plenty of stone in no time. Don't you worry if you run out of those. After time, enough time passes, you'll be sure to find more of them. Yes. Perfect. Okay. So we got to collect some material stones. We have a new tool here. We have the um, cheap hammer. We'll equip it. You can just break all these. Oh my god. Yes. All right. Get them all. There we go. You just put them all in there. I guess I can break like... Actually, hold on. Before I do that. Because what if I need my stamina for something else today, you know? Keep at it and you'll build up all the muscles you need. And you know what they say about muscles. They can solve any problem. That's not true. Can they? You'll need a lumber slash stone box to store material stone. If you ever destroy it by accident, buy, your, buy yourself a new one at Studio Palma. Destroy it by accident. Who's going to actually do that? When you're in dungeons, you can also use hammers to mine ore in order to collect metals and gems. You'll need those if you want to make yourself good furniture, so keep an eye out for them. Please check the nearby chest for some stone. Oh, wow. Okay, so hold on here. Yeah, so you can convert them like that. Even small pieces of stone. What's next? Try fishing. Okay. Hey, how's it going? I've been fishing up a storm lately. I've even become a master angler at this rate. But even though fishing is so much fun, I usually don't see many other people doing it. So here's a little something for me to you. You received a cheap fishing pole. If you see any fish shadows in the river, or ocean, or whatever, you equip that fishing pole and press the B button to cast your line. When a fish takes uh, the bait, you'll see the lure disappear under the water. That's your cue to hit the B button to reel it in. Okay. Sounds great. So we basically have to find some fish. Wait, but it's saying I think I think you have to initially find a shadow because if you just press that. Hope I get a bite. See how there's like nothing around here? Then you press okay. So this means I actually have to go somewhere else, I think. I and mean, we can go over here into the freaking ocean. There might be something. Oh look, there's more uh, big boulders in here that we can break. That's good to know. Yeah, so I'm not sure if there's supposed to be shadows beforehand or if the shadows appear 
after you toss it in. Because almost every damn Harvest Moon slash Story of Seasons game is different in this aspect. That's the thing, even if you're an avid farming, <laughs> farming game fan, like, you'll know these little things in here, you know, that every single game is different. So, like, I'm not seeing any shadows at all. Like, not a single one. So, I'm under the assumption that you actually have to press it first. And then eventually the shadow will appear. Maybe. Wait, there's some over there. Yeah, see, oh, they do appear, okay. Oh, crap. The, oh, really? You fail that fishing, you get a skill up. Okay, no, now they're right there. Okay. But I don't think those were there before I pressed the B button one time, though. Like, I'm pretty sure that was not the case. Right? Unless I'm going crazy, but I feel like that was not... I don't know, we'll see. Come on. What are you all do? They're just swimming. Now, here goes. Okay, there we go. All right. A boot? I mean, I guess that counts as catch a fish. Oh my god. So much trash. Yeah, a lot of Harvest Moon games have so much trash. Like, you find random coins, random boots, you find also logs and branches. You find the weirdest shit sometimes. There's actually some games. Um, I think I think it's either Sunshine uh, Harvest Moon Sunshine Islands or Island of Happiness, one of those two, where the odds of catching a fish are actually like 20%, and 80% of the game is just catching a bunch of garbage. Like, what the hell? It's so weird. Oh, what am I doing? My bad. So yes, I can confirm. Um, Throw your fishing rod in the water and eventually a shadow will spawn. It's not the other way around. Again, every Harvest Moon game is different with this. Okay, we got 300 money. Nice. I'll take it. Neo, what's next? Use fertilizer bin. Those boys. Oh, finally some battling. Harvest a potato. Okay, well, we'll... Got that, got a challenge, get out there and harvest some potatoes. Farming basically involves planting seeds, helping them grow, and then, uh huh. That's why I want you to harvest some homegrown sp spuds. Sure. Uh, play some grass in the fertilizer bin. Thanks a lot for doing all that farm work. I really appreciate how much effort you put into it. You must have felt pretty tired afterwards. Same. Did you know that you can so that your soil can get so tired that no crops will grow in it? When that happens, use some fertilizer to return it to normal. All you need to do is throw any kind of grass into the fertilizer bin to make your soil happy and healthy. When you run into fertilizer, avoid planting new crops so that the soil can take a break and slowly recover on its own. Okay. Yes, yeah, so basically, this is... Okay. Replaced it. Done. Uh, this is actually a returning... Uh, whatever. Okay, we're gonna pick up. Toss in all... No. Because I think that also tosses like your medicinal grass, which you don't want to actually do. Um, usually what the best thing to do is to just toss in like weeds and stuff um, But yes, you essentially just got to keep this thing full by putting in all weeds in there I can just put it somewhere close by like over Here maybe that way everything is close by but yes It's pretty simple. You just simply toss weeds in there and grass and that's it. Nice job. Healthy soil needs a good diet oh, yeah. And any best grass whatever please check in nearby just for some withered grass Wow, thank you. What a crazy reward. I'm so grateful for that withered grass. Mine iron. I like sparkly things, but I haven't seen many of them around here lately. I heard you can mine for minerals like iron if you have a hammer. Iron is shiny, so I want to see some. Shiny, do you know how to use a hammer? If you do, please mine some ore, ore for iron and show it to me. You can find it in dungeons. Okay, and then this one... I've heard a lot of adventurers complaining about orcs attacking recently. If you reduce their numbers by two or so, they'll probably think twice about going to, uh, after people. Then you can do that for me? Sure. I'll defeat some orc... orcs. Okay, yeah, why not? Alright, so what we should do, though, is... Because I want to see how many... 1, 2, okay, 8, 12. Okay. 
12 of them. So we're gonna do... I mean, I guess we can smash this thing. That's not what I meant to do, my bad. Let's get rid of this thing. So I think the brown wa uh, rocks actually have less. Let's see. Yeah, they're usually less. Right. Much smaller amount. That's not what I wanted to do. What the hell? No, I didn't... All right. I can't believe the game nice. actually caught that from that far. The A button on the watering thing. That's not what I wanted to do at all. Anyway, now we can go and equip this. Okay. Alright, and then we can go and whip all of these one at a time. One, two, th wait, the next one will be enough. I need two more, I think. But... I did that in the wrong order. I, I thought I was going to put the other one, but it's fine. It's okay. Put this right here. Okay, and then we'll have to just put the other two over here, I guess. Because it's four. I know I'm putting these all out of order here, but it's fine. And by the way, you won't waste seeds in here. Like, they will only ever go in actual spots. So, I think we're fine for the most part. That's... Press the wrong button again. Alright! Go big and strong, okay? Okay. And then here we're gonna water all these as well. Once we fill it up, of course. Watering time. Okay, so I guess I can harvest my turnips. Go big and strong, okay? Oh yeah, you can just you can also just stack these. Cool. And then we can put these in here. Alright! Sometimes you do get seeds back, which is really yes. nice. But that happens, but there we go. We're getting a bunch of skill ups now. We got a bunch of RP for that. Oh my god. It's pretty awesome. See, so yeah, I should have just. Oh yeah. So, one thing that's kind of annoying about a lot of the Rune Factor games is that when you actually take the crop out, the soil returns to normal. So, you have to re till it. In other Harvest Moon games, that's actually not the case. It just kind of depends, to be honest. Um, it's very different in a per farming game, you know, like that, this whole mechanic, but. These are... this is a level 2. Yeah, gradually your seeds are going to go higher and higher as you keep getting higher ranks and stuff. Um, okay. So I think we're good with that. I and mean, then we can use some of this again to hit some of these rocks and stuff, which probably should. What? The hell? Oh. This is minor, um... I don't know if you would label that as a glitch, but it's a bit of an oversight and development when that happens, like you're facing something directly, but then the game's like, actually, no, you're not facing that, and we're like, clearly the game is wrong in that part, but whatever, right? I'll save some of my stamina for now, I don't think I need to actually use everything right now. Okay. I have to figure out where I need to go. Yeah, why is it telling me to go there? In there, I was about to go to the dungeon and mine as well as killing orcs, but there's an, a, an icon that's appearing over here in this building. All right, well, let's check it out and see what's in here. I don't know. Hina. Hina. What's wrong? Mom. Mommy. She had a dream about her mom. Poor kid. Do you have an idea where her mother could be? Tina. She and Misa got separated. We've seen neither hide nor hair of her since. Huh? I know my no. sister. If she made it to civilization, she would have sent word by now. She's probably still lost in the woods. Is that so? <laughs> I miss my mommy. Thank you. 
You will? Really? Yeah. The dry those tears. I'll be back soon. Okay. Whispering Woods now available. Oh, okay, so I couldn't go there before, I think. So I actually have to come over here so I can trigger that. Alright, well that's that's good to know. Hello you. Yo! <laughs> okay. Um so where where am I here? Let's see here. This way. Uh sure. So we have to go over to Okay. That's fine. We gotta go to the uh, west side, which would be this way over here. Or sorry, east side, I meant. I don't know why I said west. What are you doing? Just looking out there in the beyond. Tomorrow's a festival day. Oh, oh yeah, it actually I'm is. Have fun. I don't have a freaking cooking thing though. Shit. I should have actually I should have purchased that, huh? Okay, um, we're going to... There we go. These, um... Do they spawn? Yeah, they keep respawning enemies, I believe. That's usually what tends to happen. But, okay. So we get a bunch of items like that, which is pretty nice. Coming over here? Get over here! Okay, so I need to see if, um... What was the, that button again? Oh, you can actually make them any that larger, that's interesting. These are the orcs, okay. That's two orcs to beat it already. I'm really thinking, so because the cookie festival is tomorrow, I'm not even sure if I'm going to have enough money to buy the thing that I want, but... I mean, maybe. What is this? Oh. Here we got some big ferns. Grab this. Flower. Oh, these are these. Don't think. Yeah, they, get, they usually give you like RP and stuff. This is a save point, I believe. Okay. Well, let me. I will save the game here. I guess I should end the video, but I'm gonna actually go back. I'm not gonna go inside the dungeon yet. I'm gonna instead of war back because um, I, I need to buy. What is it again? Not the blue moon. It's the um. This one. Should it be that one? Where I want to go to? Warp menu, Rig Barth. Okay, I'm just trying to see which one's the closest one. They give you a couple of predetermined, you know, warping spots. Pretty cool. Go that way. Let's see if I can actually buy something or just to see what their inventory is. So, yeah, I will end the video here. Next time we're going to definitely uh, finally get onto that dungeon. Finally. It's only episode 4, you know? Alright, so before I end this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications. If you enjoyed the video, I will see you all later. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great day.